A one-pager template is like a template or a style sheet in any other type of application. It allows you to standardize your settings so that when you create a brand new document, you can maintain a consistent look and feel with the documents you've created previously. If you already have a chart that you like and you just want to update it with fresh data from the same project plan, you don't need to worry about templates. Instead, you can simply update the chart that you already have and OnePager will preserve all of your formatting automatically without needing to start over or apply a fresh template. For more information on updating an existing chart and tracking changes to your project, please watch our video on that topic. Templates in OnePager are saved in a .tat file format and shouldn't be confused with OnePager charts, which are saved in a .tam file format. Templates contain only your settings and no actual project data. Charts, on the other hand, contain both your settings and your project data. OnePager takes the data from your project plan, be it from Microsoft Project or Excel, and marries it with the settings from the template. The combination of the project data plus the template settings are what create the initial OnePager chart. For more information on OnePager charts, or TAM files, and how they relate to templates, please watch our separate video on the different types of OnePager files. In OnePager, the template only matters when you are first creating a chart. Once a chart has been created, it stores all of your settings inside the chart itself, and the template is no longer needed to make formatting changes to that chart. Let's take a look at an example. We'll start with a simple project plan, and then click the OnePager button to create a new chart. When the import wizard appears, OnePager will ask us to pick a template. OnePager comes with about 20 standard templates, but users can create their own templates as well. For now, let's choose the single project Gantt View detailed template and build the chart. As OnePager imports the project data, it also applies the settings that were pre-configured in the template. This is what gives us the Gantt style layout that we see here. Let's see what happens if we create a second chart from the same project plan, but using a different template. Back in the import wizard, we'll select this single project timeline template instead. The underlying project plan is the same, but now we've chosen a template that will enable us to start out with a timeline layout instead of a Gantt. Again, as we build this second chart, we see OnePager take the project data and apply the settings from the second template. This time around, we get a timeline layout. When you first create a OnePager chart, whichever template you select is going to populate all of its settings into the properties of the chart itself. You can review these settings at any time by going to the Home tab of your OnePager chart and clicking on the Chart Properties button. This will let you take any settings that were initially defined by the template and change them to something different. When we change settings in Chart Properties, we're no longer changing the settings in the template itself. While these settings did originate from the template, they are now localized to the chart itself, so any changes to these settings going forward will only pertain to this one chart. Likewise, the template will not repopulate any of its settings back into the chart, since a chart only relies on a template for its settings the first time that it's created. This means that if we did go back to the original template and change some settings there, those template settings would have no impact on this specific chart. They would, however, have an impact on any new charts created from that updated template. Many users wonder which template they should select when first building a chart. Because templates are really only a jumping off point, choosing the right template out of the gate is really much less important than most people think, especially since practically every setting in a chart can be changed through chart properties, even if you didn't pick the perfect template originally. We often receive requests from users asking us to tell them which template will generate a given type of chart format. Unfortunately, it's not quite that simple. Remember that the template is only half of the equation, with the other half being the project plan itself. Because project plans can vary widely in terms of both layout and detail, it's difficult to predict exactly what type of chart a template is going to generate without also looking at the project data. That being said, here is some general guidance on how to pick a starting template, understanding that you can always adjust your settings later if it isn't perfect. The first thing you'll want to decide is whether you're building a single project chart or a multi-project chart. Many of our templates have a single versus multi-project designation, so you can rule a lot of them in or out based on this factor alone. 
Second, think about whether you want a Gantt layout with one task per row, or if you want a timeline layout with multiple tasks lined up left to right. Based on these two considerations, most users can typically narrow their template options down to just a handful of choices. Once it's a little less overwhelming, build a test chart from each remaining template and see which one gets you the closest to what you want. In the first portion of this video, we showed you how a template can be used to drive the initial look and feel of a chart. This concept also works in reverse as well. Settings from a chart can be turned into a template so that you can have consistent formatting from one chart to the next. The easiest way to create a template from an existing chart is to go to the Home tab and click on the Save as Template button. When you do this, OnePager will take all of the settings from chart properties and save it as a new template in the .tat format. When you convert a chart to a template, only the settings from chart properties will be templatized. Any manual, point-and-click changes that you've made to individual tasks and milestones will not be saved to the template. This is because the template is project agnostic and is designed to contain settings that are broadly applicable to any project plan. Therefore, any settings that pertain to a specific task or milestone are not things that can be generalized into a template. Let's take a look at an example of what kinds of changes can be templatized and which cannot. We'll illustrate a few different methods for changing colors in the chart. As a general rule, any changes that you make in chart properties can be templatized, and any changes outside chart properties cannot. So, let's start by going into Chart Properties and to the Taskbars tab. Change the default color of the chart to gray. When you apply that change, all tasks in the chart will turn gray. This is the type of high-level setting that is easy to turn into a template. Now, let's go into Conditional Formatting by clicking the Manage Rules button. We can write a rule that will automatically identify any tasks that are finished and then paint them green. Again, this rule is also very easy to generalize. It doesn't apply formatting to one specific task or another. Instead, it tests a condition and any task with a complete status will be painted green, whether it's one task or 50 tasks. So far, all of the settings we've changed can be easily turned into a template. Let's take a look at a change that cannot be. Holding down the control key, left click on a handful of tasks throughout the chart and paint them blue. This is a manual formatting change, and there is no general setting or rule that's driving the assignment of the blue color to these tasks. Instead, we're simply telling OnePager that these specific tasks should be blue. Because templates only contain settings that can be generalized to any set of tasks, the manual blue color isn't going to make it into the template. When we click on the Save as Template button, OnePager is, for all intents and purposes, copying the settings from chart properties and saving them off to a .tat file. We'll give our template a name and then close the chart. Back in the project plan, let's create a new chart using the newly created template. Notice that the custom template we just created has already been pre-selected for us. As OnePager imports the data from the plan, all of the settings from that new template are going to be applied. Notice that as soon as the chart is created, the default gray color appears, as does the green color that's associated with completed tasks. The manually assigned blue color doesn't appear because it wasn't rules driven and therefore was not saved to the template. However, if we were to open the original chart from which the template was derived, that blue color is still there and it will remain in the chart for as long as you need it. So while manual changes cannot be templatized for broader use, they will always be preserved in the original chart. With this new template in hand, we can now open a completely different project plan and create a new chart. Again, notice the default gray color plus the green for completed tasks. Here, we have different tasks that are complete than in the first project, and that illustrates the power of the template, applying the same styles to different sets of data and ending up with a consistent family of charts. For more information, please review our other videos, or you can visit onepager.com forward slash support, or email us at support at onepager.com.